And it's Saturday afternoon. WMMS.com for all the info. You might still be able to register to win tickets there. Otherwise, you got to get them from me. Stansbury's got them as well in the midday. But uh, we're getting out of the wire, baby. So caller 10. Good luck. These are yours. You and a friend will see you on Saturday afternoon for the Alan Cox Show Cruise. 216-578-1007 or 800-348-1007. Are you trying to make us all uncomfortable? Alan Cox. It's gross. It's weird. It's not right. It's not cool. And there's plenty more where that came from. Back to the Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. Guardians start up tonight against the Yankees live in the Bronx. Yankee Stadium 705 is your first pitch. So 635 is when your pregame get underway here on the buzzard. Uh, They will play uh, game two tomorrow evening and then the businessman special on Thursday afternoon before the Guardians come home for the weekend series against the Rangers, and then stick around for the Kansas City Royals. And then stick around some more for the Pittsburgh Pirates. So they got a couple of uh, home series ahead as we inch toward the end of the regular season on the 29th of September. Now, the remaining days in this month, you can use the promo code LAKE. You have uh, 11 days remaining in the month of August. Unbelievably. Almost Labor Day weekend. And uh, you can use the promo code LAKE. Want to get yourself some appropriate uh, Cleveland gear? Some MMS Buzzard merch? You'll find it over there at CLA Clothing. Order it online if you like. Just remember, LAKE will get you 20% off the top of whatever you want. Hey, gang. Let me preface this by saying that I love women. Women, women, women. But... Something about a woman's body chemistry makes them stink way worse than men. I've been around some smelly dudes over the years, and I've been pretty funky myself. But women, I don't know what it is. It's just the most pungent smell. It sticks to their clothes. It doesn't wash out. I don't know what it is. I don't like men no more. I said I like women. Women, 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 women. (laughs) Uh, I don't know what he's talking about. I I, I, I I have not had that experience where I've been. Listen, when your girl's a little sweaty, ain't nothing wrong with that boy. Um, I don't believe I've had the experience of a, her smelling worse. And I'm an under sweater, so I can't use myself. But listen, I wrestled and all that kind of. You know, I, I've been around. Uh, I've been in the company bill of a lot of sweaty guys. Yeah, I. In my experience, the stinkiest people I've ever been by are men. My you know. ex's feet smelled so bad it made me want to throw up. Now, what's the thing with the feet? Is it dudes? Because I remember growing up, my middle brother, he's, we're very close in age. He's 15 months younger than me. We're Irish twins. And this kid would walk through our house, and I swear to Christ, his footprints would be burning the carpet as he walked through the house. Is it a hormonal thing? Is it, I mean, what is it dudes not washing their socks? Is it walking around in sneakers that with no? I don't know either. I think, but the whole like wearing vomiting sneakers foot with thing. no socks is definitely a good way to get stinkier feet. Hmm. I every once in a while I'll wear a pair of shoes with no socks, but it's usually for a very short amount of time. It's not gonna get any stink going. But yeah, I think a lot of people don't wash their feet well, or like the people that have stinky feet, they might not wash their feet well. It might be a hormonal thing, but they might just have bad foot hygiene. Foot hygiene? Mm-hmm. Like not cleaning them? Like not cleaning them, not clipping toenails, not... Fungus? Maybe, oh, maybe, you got yeah, it. Yeah, maybe they got some fungus, maybe they got... And they're not doing anything about the fungus. Maybe they wear the same socks too much. They probably uh, are heavy sweaters when it comes to their feet. Well, this is also one of those questions when they do these polls. And we've talked about this before. Whether or not people wash below their thighs and you'll have people saying well i don't wash my legs i just let the soap run down that's and they did this so gross to me i wash they did this your body that's what i say they it did the same thing about no the feet. time at all <laughs> they, yeah they did the same thing with the feet and like 40 percent of people said i don't wash my feet in the shower i just let the water run over them and i'm like why wouldn't you just 
So I give mean, a little scrub real quick. Just to kind of exfoliate yeah. or feel good or, you know, kind of wake up your skin a little bit. Why wouldn't you scrub all of it? I don't know. I'm not in that camp at all. My roommate doesn't I don't use understand, a washcloth. I don't understand somebody who's so lazy. You know, and this is a big thing when you have a teenage boy. And I was a teenage boy, but I was still very into hygiene. But if you have a teenage boy, I'm talking like that 12 to 13 to 14 time, really before they're starting to meet girls, um, boy, you got to drag them into the shower. You're like, go wash your ass. So part of that's See, hormonal. That's one, that's one of those things, though, that I, ne- I never liked smelling bad. And I, I remember either. when I first started getting underarm smell and, like, getting a whiff of it, and I was like, what is that? And my mom's like, oh, you need to start wearing deodorant. And I was like, get me some right now because I hate this. And I was always very conscious of pit stink. Well, I didn't have pit stink, but it was like I was so— But I didn't want to. Right. Yeah. I was so desperate to get any girl to pay attention to me that I was like, I got to go in there smelling good. Mm -hmm. Wherever I am, got to be smelling good, whether it's soap or whatever. So I'll take your word for it, sir. I don't know. I I don't have that experience. I don't like men no more. I said I like women. Women, 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 women. women. Mm, That guy's delivered. (laughs) <laughs> Alan, honey pie, it's Teresa. I just wanted to tell you that my sounds hot. You say that about anyone who has like a wispy voice. I like wispy that's voices. That's the wispy. That's the voice you like. Yes. And it ain't hey. yours. Hey, <laughs> All right. Well, now you're making it move. Don't do that. It's gonna be weird. Don't do that. Hey, I love that, the way your hair looks. I like Mary on the show better today. <laughs> Annoying. <laughs> uh, now she'd yell at us in that voice. Be a little easier to take. Ooh, do you can't that. yell in that voice. Yeah, but like say. No, I'm not turning you guys on. Oh, I've been yelled Knock at by off. plenty of women who have that raspy voice. Alan, honey pie, Oof. it's Teresa. I just wanted to tell you that my new favorite song is "I'm Bleeding Internally." So great song. You know, it's like an earworm. But like a, in a good way, actually, it's a bop, as the kids say. So thanks for turning me on to that song. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Bye. Did you hear that? She's flirting, Bill. Thanks for turning me on, and then she pauses and says to the song. Yeah. Is that what she's doing? I think so. Man, this this day, Mary is. She's getting better and better. I'll tell you what, something's happening. This is a great song, though. The Dream Eaters. Find them on Instagram. They're fantastic. This will be on the playlist for the... Hells, uh, yes. For the, uh, hopefully for the cruise and the pool party. Pool afterwards, yeah. yeah. You want to come swim? Who? Oh, you. No, I, I'm going to do something to flats, I think. All right. You have an invite if you'd like. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mary, you also have an invite. I know. She wants nothing to do with it. I know. Alan, I went to a party at a shoes off house, and this girl stank up the whole goddamn house with her sock stench. I don't blame her. I blame the homeowners. Who throws a no shoes party? Yeah, keep your shoes on in the house. Somebody was like, "You got to take your shoes off." Absolutely. You got to take your shoes off when you come in here. I tip the f around, and I uh, graciously excuse myself for the evening. I'm a grown ass man. I'm not walking around. In my socks. It's like Brian's biggest pet peeve is when people don't take their shoes off when they come in our house. But that's He's, there's a difference between when you're like part of a small group versus a party. I agree. Parties, shoes on. I don't want to take my shoes off. Well, you're not invited to their house. Well, take that's I'll, I'll take my lumps. 
Alan, I know a lot of women who try not to wash their hair as long as possible. Maybe the sebum is what that guy is smelling. Well, you're not supposed to wash your hair every day. You're supposed to, you know, you strip it. I've heard it called a front butt, but not a sebum. I know. (laughs) Ah. You got to wash that front butt, too. Mm -hmm. So, um... If we're talking about uh, diode and and all that kind of stuff, you got to do it. Yeah, no, don't invite me to a shoes off party. They're like, well, I, I we just had carpet. Pool. Okay, I, I didn't tell you to do that. I don't even want to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Here's the bottle of wine. See you later, uh. I think it's just whatever the house, whatever, dude. If you have a house that you want people to take their shoes off, that's your it's your house. I know. It's your rules. I know. I understand. I, I'm not telling somebody to change their rules. I'm just saying, let me know that ahead of time. I don't want to get there and they go, oh, hey, could you be a lamb? We, we're just asking everybody to take their shoes off. Nope. Later. Thank you for the invite. Alan, I have hyperhidrosis. My feet sweat more than normal. Switching to bamboo socks helped a ton. Yeah, but then the you've got pandas footies. trying to <laughs> you got pandas <laughs> trying to eat your feet. Is it pandas that eat bamboo? Did I, I think so. Koalas? That's Koalas, eucalyptus. They, yeah, eucalyptus. Ah, come on. Frank Costanza had a potential foot odor problem. I remember that. They were making fun of him. When the uh, that's what the Korean ladies mm-hmm. were giving him a hard time, and he sent uh, Elaine in. Or she sent no, him no, in. No, no, Yeah. It was, was her foot order problem? No, no. She, he. She, she brought him so that she could understand because they were making fun of her. Right. Me, Elaine, I think I got a foot order problem. Uh-huh. He wanted her. She wanted him to go into her nail salon yeah. to find out what the women were saying. Right. Behind her back. This guy, this is not my type of guy. When he met his uh, his Korean girlfriend's parents, Young Moon, he bought two Jesus statues for me. He's a hell of a nice guy. You ever seen that face on him? It was like a big apple pie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, listen, Mr. Costanza, if um if, if you do this for me, I, I can get you a manicure. I'll, I'll pay for it. Or you can get a pedicure if you want. No one's touching my feet. (laughs) Between you and me, Elaine, I think I got a foot odor problem. (laughs) I had an affair with a Korean woman. Uh, Mr. Costanza, I don't know. I feel I need to unburden myself. I loved her very deeply, but the clash of cultures was too much. Her family would not accept me. Mr. Casanza, I'm Maybe not it was because I refused to take off my shoes. Again, the foot odor problem. The father would look at me and say, Ono, inawa, shiyo. Which means, this guy, this is not my kind of guy. You know, if they ever say that, Mary, uh, where you get your pedicures, you'll know what they're saying. This is not my kind of guy. If they say, Ino, Inawa, or whatever he said. I don't know. My feet are pretty great. I don't think they'd ever have to say that. Alan, my brother-in-law and sister have a strict no outdoor shoes in the house policy. I I mean, 99% of shoes are outdoor shoes. Indoor shoes are called slippers. All shoes are outdoor shoes. Mm -hmm. Okay, listen. You're right. Your house, your rules. You do what you want to do. Hey, you ever heard of a guy, speaking of... Is that um, a Kenny Chesney song, too? What's is that, that? Is that the B-side to the... No, no shoes, shoes, no, no problem? yeah. Um, have you ever heard of a guy named Gosder Chirillis? Yeah, everybody's heard of <laughs> Gosder Chirillis. Why would well, he, he even ask that? He was in the NFL. Of course, was, everybody knows Gosder Chirillis. I never no, even no heard <laughs> this guy's name. I've never heard this name, and I pay attention to football pretty close. He was an offensive lineman for the Lions... And I think he played for the Patriots. Played five seasons in Detroit, two in Indianapolis with the Colts, 
and two more for the Buccaneers before ending his career in 2016. He was drafted 17th overall uh, in 2008. And this guy's in trouble. Gosder Chirillis, who's only 40, uh, lives in Massachusetts, and he got uh, scooped up because he peed all over a woman on a flight. That he He's accused of urinating on another passenger. And... Um, it's not very chilled. Well, I always... Um, this might be... Again, I don't know the layout of this. I don't understand the logistics. I don't know what he's exactly being accused of. Other than they said that um, uh, the woman was quoted as saying that uh, he emptied his... He walked up to an elderly woman, exposed himself, and emptied his entire bladder for approximately 20 seconds. So imagine you're an old woman on a flight. They said that he appeared drunk when he arrived at Logan Airport in Boston. Mm -hmm. And um, before the flight, he argued with another passenger over the seating arrangements. And so they get up in the air. But an hour in, he gets up, <laughs> walks over to this old woman. So imagine you're an elderly woman, right? You're traveling alone. Maybe you're going to see your grandkids. Maybe you're returning home from a fantastic weekend with your grandchildren. Maybe you're infirm to some degree. Maybe you don't have long to live. And here comes a giant a gentleman who used to play. You don't know he's a football player. He's a big guy. And it whips it out and, and uh, pees all over you for 20 seconds, which is an eternity under any circumstances. In, in terms of piss, yes. <laughs> I'm playing this Saturday night. I'm playing 20 seconds of piss on two hours to midnight. They've got new stuff, and it's really, really good. Do. Yeah. Yep. And they're always loaded for bear. Mm-hmm. He right, his, wait, wait, wait. his defense Let's... is he took a sleeping medication that he doesn't normally use, which resulted in behavior that is, say it with me, not representative of my character. The flight was delayed for four hours, which I read as I got really drunk yeah. and took an Ambien. Yeah. Wait, all right. Let's time out a 20-second pee with that sound effect. Mm-hmm. All right. Let me turn on my, my stopwatch here. You know, my phone has a stopwatch. It's pretty cool. I mean, this is only right, a 15 wait. second drop, though, so okay. I'll have to start it over. Right, ready, yeah. set, go. Wow. That's, that's how long that's he peed on that woman. That is a lot that of That poor, pee. poor woman. I like her quote. Some he people. emptied his bladder completely. Now, she only knows that because he stopped peeing. Mm -hmm. And I don't think she got any indication that he was pinching. He became unruly and aggressive. The crew were in complete shock and feared for their safety. Yeah, he's a giant person. Boy, that's a flex, though. When you have a group of people who fear for their safety because you have your dong out. This guy wasn't carrying a weapon. I think they were fearing for their safety just at the sheer size of him. I don't know if it's specifically dong-related mm. fear. <laughs> On his way back to his seat, he allegedly hit another elderly man with his right hand. Gosder Chirillis yeah, is... This guy like, hates the elderly. <laughs> he's six feet six, weighs 280 pounds. The troopers said they had to use two sets of handcuffs to restrain him. Wow. I'd never even heard this guy's name. And the Lions are one of the teams I pay attention to. So, yeah. 20, yeah I mean, linemen don't get talked about that much. 22nd so whiz all over this old what lady. A great name. Yeah. Well, maybe he still buys into that nonsense about how you got to drink uh, eight glasses of water a day or whatever it is. Well, like you said, Maybe it sounds he's like full. he had eight glasses of booze. <laughs> yeah. No water chaser. No mm. water back on those drinks. We're going to good, get a good pee going. After the delay. Just an old lady sitting there. And then she's drenched. At the very least, damp. Oh, terrible. Poor woman. Sue the airport. Sue the Delta something. Sue him. I don't know what kind of money Gosder Chirillis pulled in. I mean, but if he, uh, if he played 10 years in the NFL or what, eight years, 
he probably made a decent amount of cash. Made some money. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's all going to go away when he gets sued by this wet old woman. <laughs> I uh, am going to break here. Hey, want to go to the air Don't show? Don't wash the pants. You what? Don't wash the pants that got peed on. That's exhibit A. Them. Yeah, you need those for exhibit A. Yeah. Show how... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your Honor, this right here is...